Okay, we just obtained another Esther. And now we've gone through that dual that pathway there, and now we've got some distance to run. Not sure we really have anything to do here. I know I'm going to hit a save crystal, that's why I brought Ron back into the group. Ha! <laughs> My, uh, quickings are set up with Bothia to haste anybody who, uh... The din of the mist grows greater. The sun, Chris, must be near. I wonder if she'll really do it. Take revenge against the Empire. I mean, I know how she must feel. It's hard losing someone you care about. Something we all got in common. But you know, no matter how hard we try, we can't change the past. There's nothing that can bring them back. Still, sometimes when I close my eyes, I can see them so clearly. The illusions of the past. You think to have cast them off, only to find them years later, unwearying, unrelenting. The past can bind a man as surely as irons. Cut the true path. But will she? Okay, the other characters are... Uh, Pinello was wondering if Ash will go through the effort of taking revenge on the Empire rather than destroying the Suncrist and negating the Empire's advantage. Now, it was obviously an advantage to... In previous episodes, we've discussed about how Ash has a choice to make. Either she destroys Suncrist and destroys the Nethesite that the Empire has in their advantage over their enemies, or cut another piece of Nethesite off the Suncrist, or two, or ten, or however many she needs, in order to fight the Empire. And that would be taking revenge, and that could be potentially disastrous. But she may... There's no telling what she's going to be thinking, what state of mind she's going to be in by the time she has that opportunity. So this is the Sun Christ. King Wraithwall stood here. With this sword, he cut the Sun Crest and took its power in his hand. But you're going to use the sword to destroy the Sun Crest. Aren't you, Ash? <sighs> Don't interrupt me, Vaughn. Is this what you want? I cannot. 
Why do you hesitate? Take what is yours. The Christ is a blade, it was meant for you. Wield it. Avenge your father. <sighs> yes, it was I who wore Bash's face, who cut down the life of Delmasca. Lady Ash, your father's murderer is here. You and Rex! I slew your king. I slew your country. Do these deeds not demand vengeance? Yes! Good! Find your wrath! Take up your sword! Fight! And serve those who died before you! A Judge Magister there was. Two years passed. He took in his hand the Midlight Shard, stolen from Nabradia, and used it not knowing what he did. And Nabudis was blown away. Sid ordered this of him, to learn the Nethersite's true power. That man swore never to let such terrible power be used again. He forsook his Judas's plate and his name. Judge Zekt. It's been too long, Gabranth. Reach out your hand, Lady Ash. But remember, that which you must grasp is something beyond revenge, something greater than despair. Something beyond our reach. Try as we might, Gabranth. History's chains bind us too tightly. No, we cannot escape the past. This man is living proof. What is your past, daughter of Damasca? Did you not swear revenge? Do the dead not demand it? Rassler, my prince, our time was short. Yet I know this. You are not the kind to take base revenge! The Rassler I knew is gone. You are our saint, Tashelia Banagan. You must use the Nethersite. You must be the one to straighten history's weave. I am no false saint for you to use. Ash. In all Dalmasca's long history, not once did we rely on the Dusk Shard. Our people resolved never to use it, though their need might be dire. That was the Dalmasca I wanted back. To use the stone now would be to betray that. I will destroy the sun, Christ. I will discard the stone. You claim no need of power? What of your broken kingdom's shame? The dead demand justice! You're wrong. Huh? What would change? I can't help my brother now. My brother's gone. He's dead. Even with power, we cannot change what is past. What is done, is done. Yet without power, what future can you claim? What good a kingdom you cannot defend? Then I will defend queen and kingdom both. <sighs> ha! 
defend. You, you who failed Landis and Almaska, what can shame hope to keep safe? Your shield is shattered. Your oaths poison those you would protect. Boss battle time. Okay, we're gonna be fighting Judge Gabrant. Now remember, Judge Gabrant is the brother of uh, of Bosch. Now, when their uh, the home of Landis was destroyed by the Empire, Bosch went and swore allegiance to a master. While Gabrant went and swore allegiance to the to people who went and conquered his homeland. So. Well, there's kind of a difference in personality there. But, um... It was Gabranth here that posed as Bosch back in the beginning of the game when the king was killed, and Rex was... The king and Rex were killed. So both, um... Nass and Vaughn, as well as Bosch, had like a vested interest in seeing Dead. Hear me, boss. Do not think killing the Kingslayer will win you back your honor. When you abandon home and kin, your name was forever stained with blood. And, but it's a, it's a point of uh, the character's growth that Ash had decided, even facing the man who killed her father, who doomed her uh, doomed her people to being killed, to conquer, she couldn't bring herself to destroy the Empire. So you, too, would leave your debts unpaid? Enough of this! I can bear no more. You disappoint me, Gabranth. What? He trusted you. When you bared steel against the princess, you forswore your obligations to your emperor. You shame yourself and make mockery of Lord Lars's trust. You are unfit to serve him a sword or shield, and so I release you from that service. Your presence is neither required nor welcome. You are only a tool of this Venar. How quaint. We are allies. The Acuria give men power as a master feeds his dog. It is meant to tame us. How well you've resisted their wile. By turning your back on their stones, you give us free hand to write our own history. And at what price? Damascus' freedom for your nethocyte? I shall not suffer you to have it. The sun crisp be damned. Oh, <laughs> be sure that it is. For what other purpose do you think you brought us here? But, my lady, I would have you stay your Acurian sword. The sun crisp is glutted with mist, and so precious a thing must not be squandered. Let us use the stone! Finish this for now! Shards of Nephysite, cocoon of the sun crisp, spill forth your mist upon this evil east! Let's see in sky be a wash in it that Bahamut may come and drink his fill! Brightly burned their lanthorn. Casts it back the shadow of a Curian design. Testament that man's history shall be his alone. You made your nether site for this. You mimic the Acuria stone for what? 
to become a god yourself? On whose shoulders better to stand than those of the would-be gods? Ah, such high hopes I once had, but you ran and ran and play with you. Alas, the hour of your return is late. Come, Thamron, revel in the glory of my triumph! Okay, we're gonna have another boss battle. Against Dr. Seed. Now we're gonna have to get rid of his positive status. This guy hits pretty hard. Using guns to protect isn't going to help us any. We're just going to have to be, uh, make sure we get our guys cured up as, as he damages us. No pity for me! Crazy bastard. The manufactured Nethersite, the fruit of our power and knowledge. See what the Stone of Man is capable of. Witness its power with your own eyes. Sanfrit to me! Guy's out of his damn mind. And he's summoning an Esper to fight us. I'm gonna focus my attacks mostly on the on the Esper Famfrit. So let's uh hopefully my other characters do that. Now his he does not share an HP bar with Sid. Sid contains his own HP bar, so I'm gonna have to pay attention to the little one that's underneath of the boss rather than the the large one that's at the top of the screen. I guess I could just go straight off and kill Sid instead of trying to uh, take out the Esper first. But I think the Esper, uh, trying to take out Sid while the Esper is attacking might be a little difficult. So I'll take out this one. Apparently this thing's weak against fire because Ash keeps chucking frag at it. Take out the Esper first. Damn it, uh, Redis is standing there attacking uh, Sid instead of the Esper all the time. We also found out something interesting with the Nugget of Knowledge. Redis was once in a uh, judge magistrate. In fact, he was the one who destroyed Nabaris, not intentionally, obviously. He didn't know that was happening. Uh, he was sent by Dr. Sid to test out the potential power of Nephesite. And that power was much greater than they had expected, and it destroyed Nabaris. Uh, that was um, something we had known about for quite some time, but we didn't really know what had happened other than that the Empire had gone and the Empire had gone and didn't made that happen. And there was some talk in the scenes in the Empire that a judge's deck had gone missing. They didn't know what happened. They thought he was dead. Turns out, after... After the destruction of Nabarese, he ran away from the Empire and wanted nothing to do with it. But also he sort of made it his mission to eliminate the any chance of anybody using me to this Nephesite magic again, because it was obviously like, it was so powerful that it really shouldn't exist in his mind. 
So that's why he's here. He's trying to convince Ash that she needs to... She needs to... Destroy the Nephysite rather than... Try to utilize it. And that was a decision she had in fact come to. But it was... That vision of Rasa, which wasn't actually Rasa. Maybe I should spell this. Yeah, Ash is using fire magic, so I better see if it's unshelled. Compared to the combination of the Esper and Dr. Sid, Dr. Sid is going to be a pushover. <laughs> Don't pity for me! The guy comes across as though he's completely the same. <laughs> he's wondering why he's talking to himself. I don't even know what the hell that's about. But since he was talking to this Manal, one of the Okura, a sort of godlike species that has been watching over humanity during all this time. He wants to become a god, and that's maybe crazy talk. <laughs> Humble his ass. Yeah, this fight's in the bag. Although he's taking less damage now, his defense must have gone up. He's not really doing any more damage though, so we're okay. Ash doesn't have enough magic to use a rise. It's close, but that last, that last little bit of, uh, fight is it's being a pain in the ass. Let's take him out, there we go. 